Good afternoon, everyone. Joining us in World Athens, uh, World Athens, South and Juma, uh, South Africa. It's a lovely, lovely afternoon for myself, Rex and Alex behind the camera, Sue on the Life Control Center. Before I went on and on, I just want to let you know it's a Freedom Day in South Africa, uh, 24, I mean 27 of uh, April, and also it's a one year anniversary here in World F. It's a very, very good day. We have try to make sure we have a game drive this afternoon especially for that and we have work hard since early in the morning we'll be heading into all oh, the south it looked like um, somewhere down towards Trindam it was a young leopard that been located in that area we're going to celebrate for one year anniversary and the freedom day in South Africa um, looking at the leopard itself and enjoy together with you walala wasala you snooze you lose let's try to go out there before too late. Alex, yeah, really? it's a very good day for us, but I was very worried, yeah? It's been a few days, we haven't had game drive, we lose a lot of suffering. Around, let us cover up on that. Try to head down and check on the leopard itself. Well, I can't begin to express my excitement of being out of the bush again. Oh, it's lovely. You know, I miss Harida Edis has went down that side. The sound, it was possible in a daily basis. It makes my life running so easy. This joy, This is one of the just it's more common in South Africa. Which is for that survival. So welcome back to the game drive vector from Gary Water Hall with lots of Impala and Nyala. Look like they're jumping together, celebrating. The, hey, look at this here. Zip! Hey. Beautiful antelope. See that, Alex? Look at the stripe itself. It's more and more white. That's a kudu. Kudu is one of the names that is more universal to call this animal. It's not really an English or African's name. It's the way the kudu make vibration when they run, especially the male, because they have balls. When they run, the balls make vibration like kudu, kudu, all the time. So people, they call them kudu on that way. All the language that we have here, kudu doesn't have a specific name. It's only in Shangan, which we call them Nongwe. And also, if you look at the way in Shangan, it call it, eh, look at that, beautiful water bag. Still here. I'm still on the kudu explanation. In Shangan, the way if you want to understand Nongwe, if you translate the name Nongwe into English, it still uh, has to do with the vibration of the testicle or the stomach itself when it moves. And the reason why they call it. That is Piva, water bath. It's very common because those white circles at the back in Shangan, we call them Piva because it's the way they snores. It's more like Piva when we translate in our language. So water bug, one of the species that hang very close into the area where it's quite a lot of water and the species that prefer marsh area. So let's carry on. Before it's too late, I'm very, very uh, keen to join on the leopard side. It's very awesome for me, well, especially in you know, one year universally ill, or wild, or wild F. So we're going to join the leopard. It's a special animal for me for a day. It means I'm going down. 
Walala wasala. Let's go and see if we can locate that uh, young leopard. Let me go to a game plot channel and talk to the guys. Uh, station over the Ingo sighting. Station at Twin Dam of Ingo sighting. To our right, you can see this is a pump, it's a water pump. It uses diesel, it's very noisy. Very beautiful day. It looked like early in the morning. On the morning's drive, there's quite a lot of action that happens around in the area. They spotted 14 wild dog into the area. Of course, the thing is, for us tomorrow, maybe we might come across with them. It's been a long time for me seeing 14 wild dogs all together. So now it was a lot of action happening. Leopard sighting, lion sighting. Look like the humans are still surviving in the area. <laughs> 